out of curiosity, since you was around Snoop, did you know about the situation that happened in New York with Snoop and um Tupac prior to the Vegas incident? Did he tell y'all personally? I think he said that um they was in um New York and he got on the radio and said he was cool with Biggie and Puffy, which he was cool. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with him saying that. Then I think he said he got on the plane and he had to have a um knife with him because Suge said he couldn't bring none of his people. Just out of curiosity, did he tell y'all that prior to the Vegas incident? Hell yeah. <laughs> You mother... All right. First thing you do with anything is alert your soldiers. That's number one. Boop pop. Yink yap the whoop pop. I'll be home in a second. <laughs> so, you know, we all met up with Dog when he got home. He wasn't mad at Tupac, huh? We met up with Snoop. Soon as Snoop got home from New York. Yeah. Mother All right. Rack up. This was going on. He wasn't mad at Tupac, huh? No, on hood. You know. He didn't like what, what transpired, but you know, he wasn't mad at Tupac, cuz. He said, hey, you know. It is what it is, you know. Pac didn't like what Pac Pac didn't like what I did, you know. Hey, you know it is what it is. You know what I'm saying. But I had to have this because in case any of these big come over here tripping, you know what I'm saying. So that this what it is, you know. Everybody ten toes down, eyes on the prize. Until we, until I, I find out what's really going on. That's what the dog said. Hey, that's what we gonna do. So you know what I'm saying, cuz? You know, like I said, brothers butt heads, cuz. You know, it's not the end of the world. They don't always agree, cuz. But we're a family. You know what I'm saying? Us, Pac and them. We're family, cuz, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was together as a family environment way before he came to death row, cuz. We used to go, he used to live in Atlanta, cuz. We used to go out and, and, to see Pac in, in Atlanta when we was out there working and doing our, cuz. We'd see Pac out there. Dog been to his house in Georgia. This is way before uh, him going to jail. That's how we roll, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, ever since Poetic Justice, cuz, we we communicated. Snoopy's the one that communicated with him the most. And, uh, you know, everything, it is what it is. But see, you know, they when you butt heads, cuz, and it's family, you got issues, you're going to deal with them, you're going to fix them, and that's it. So, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. Yeah, it wasn't the end of the world, cuz. Yeah, Snoop did the right thing. I mean, if you cool with both of them, I mean, you got on the radio say you was cool with um Big Edge, Well, and Puffy. I mean, what was he supposed to say? I mean, I, I mean, what was he supposed to say though? Cause let's just keep it up. Let's let's just keep it one hundred though. Cause remember, this is after New York, New York, so he could have said a lot. Hey, damn, good point. Damn, yeah, you mother. All right, I live this. Cause he could have said a lot. Dog could have just been all with with. Uh, Pac and Shook. Man, f these, this, f that. We got shot at. That's what makes Snoop such a a, a man. You know what I'm saying? Because we we never really held Biggie accountable for, you know, what transpired in New York at Hot Night with him on Hot 97. Cause it is what it is. It happened. It's over with. But these are real friends, and uh, you know they treat us the same way. Cause and even Big know, Big didn't know he was going to dump out. That's one thing for sure. You know, you never know, cause you know you you'll say one thing, and the whole coast will act up, cause and then you'll be shocked, like, oh, damn, I didn't want that to happen. I was just saying, you know, I never said to dump nobody. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, look, cuz, you know, sometimes you don't know your power like that, cuz. Cuz it ain't like Biggie and Puffy sent them to come get us. You know what I'm saying? 
New York just reacted off of what they heard from Cuz. So, you know, the main thing is, you know, Snoopy could have held that against all of them, a bad boy. But he didn't. That's being a man. You know what I'm saying, Cuz? Because these are our real friends, and we've talked to them since uh, New York, New York. We've kicked it with them since New York, New York. You know what I'm saying? We squashed our since New York, New York. You know what I'm saying, cuz? And uh, so, you know, uh, Snoopy wasn't rolling. So he basically, you know, do what Dog does. He stands on his own 10 toes, cuz. And, you know, if he don't agree, he ain't going to roll. He didn't say it because he was scared. He didn't say it because he was scared of anything. He didn't say it because he was going against the grain. He was saying it because this is how he felt. And he didn't give a who was mad at him about it, cuz? And that's how dog is, cuz. He don't give a f Who's mad at him about anything, cuz? This is the way he feels. This is what he's going to let it be known. So it's like that's what he did, cuz. And people got upset about it. But like I said, when you're family, you might not all always agree. You'll butt heads. But in the end, you work it out, cuz. Keep on trucking. Honestly, man, you saying that, and I'm keeping it real with you, all these years, I never really thought about it like that. Honestly, that makes me look at it from like a totally different view. That was a cold ass thing you just said, bro, where you said that um, Snoop had every right to be mad at Biggie and um, he took the high road. Never thought about it he like that. He took the high road. And you know, what's, what's, what's crazy is it takes balls to be a man like that, cuz to be a man all by yourself, surrounded by everybody who's thinking one way. You all by yourself. And I think the only person he had with him was Papa Snoop, I think, was his father. And that's when he said, you know, you get on the private, dog. Everybody else got to catch the regular plane. And I don't know who else was out there with dog, but I, I think Papa Snoop was Snoop's father. So... He had to catch the regular plane while Dog got on the, the private. But don't get me the lion. You know, only Dog can tell you the, the reels about all of that. But, you know, the bottom line was because he, he had to stand on his feet because he, he said what he said and he didn't bow down from it. And he got home safely. He got back to the house. And we all met with the dog to find out what's, what's next. And the dog told us, cuz, just stand on your 10 toes and keep your eyes open, you know, until I figure out what's really going on. You know, 